All right, you guys, this is our second lesson on these uh, simplifying expressions with uh, rational exponents and radicals. This is our application problems, our fun word problems. Okay, so remember in the last uh, lesson, yesterday probably for you, uh, we did the approximate number of calories that an animal needs is given by this formula right here, where m is the animal's mass in kilograms, okay, and c is going to be um, our calories right there, okay, so this one's a little bit backwards. Here we have a particular panda that consumes 1,944 calories each day. So this is C right here. So about how many, how much does the panda weigh? So we're going to plug this in for C right there, and we're going to solve for M, the mass right there. Okay, so here we go. Divide both sides by 72, and we get uh, 27 right here. And then the, uh, 27 is the same as 3 to the third. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 right there. And then we want to know m to the first power. So what we can do is use our powers to powers property by multiplying. So if we raise both sides to the, the reciprocal right here, the 4 thirds power, then we get... Um, uh, we multiply, so 3 times 4 thirds, and then this is going to be 3 fourths times 4 thirds, and we have powers to powers right there, okay? So um, I did that over here, so 3 times 4 thirds, the 3's cancel, we're left with 4, and then that just equals 1, so here we have 3 to the 4th equals m to the 1, or m equals 81. Always answer the, uh, the question in the context of the problem. So here the panda weighs 81 kilograms right there, okay? Don't just say 81, so always answer it. It's 81 kilograms is what the panda weighs right there, okay? I'm sure your teacher would appreciate that. I know I would. All right, here's another one here. This one's kind of weird, you guys. And we're just, I'm more concerned with being able to manipulate the exponents, you guys. So on here, the units get kind of weird. I had to ask my physics teacher, what's this about? And he said it's kind of wacko anyways. But anyway, so uh, we're going to do, we'll Just I, I want you to express all the, the exponents here. So anyways, the, the speed of light is the product of its frequency, f, uh, and its wavelength, w, in air. So the product means multiply, so it's going to be fw is going to be the speed of light right here. So um, uh, in air, the speed of light is uh, 3 times uh, 10 to the 8, so in just plain old air. And that's all. That's 3 times, and then there's a decimal right there. 10 to the 8th means move it 10 places that way, or 8 places that way, sorry. Um, so we have, we'll follow it by 8 zeros. That's a big number. So it's a big number in meters per second. That's how fast uh, uh, light travels right here, okay? So meters per second, that's what that represents. Let me move this toolbar over here. Okay, so the first one says, uh, write an equation for the relationship described above and then solve this equation for the frequency, okay? All right, so um, uh, the speed of light is the product of Fw. So F times W is going to be the, the speed of light, okay? And they're telling us that it's going to be that 3 times 10 to the 8, okay? In meters per second right there. I'll leave off the meters per second till the end right here, okay? And it says solve for, for frequency. So we'll divide both sides by W right there. And so there it is solved for frequency. Then it says rewrite this equation with w raised to a negative power. Okay, so this is w to the positive one downstairs. So if we put it up here, it's going to be w to the negative one. Okay, so there it is uh, uh, with w to a negative power right there. Can you see the relationship with this and this right here? Okay, this is w to the positive one. So upstairs, it's w to the negative one. Okay. All right, so what is the frequency of violet light when its wavelength is approximately 400 nanometers? Um, uh, and it says here, one nanometer is uh, 10 to the negative 9 meters right there. Okay, so let's take care of that first right there, okay? So the 400 nanometers is, uh, there's one meter for uh, 10 to, now this um, uh, this one um uh, this one nanometer for 10 to the 9 meters right here is the same as one meter for 10 to the po over 10 to the positive 9 nanometers right there. Okay, so so this 10 to the positive 9 came from that. It slips downstairs right there. Okay, so here the nanometers cancel. So and then 400 is the same as 4 times 100, and 4 times 100 is 4 times 10 squared. So that's where we get this 4 times 10 squared. Again, I'm focusing on the exponents. Okay, so this uh, 10 to 
of the two power will take off two of these nine right here. So it's um, uh, four over uh, over ten to the seven, which is four times ten to the seven. Does this look familiar, you guys? This is written in scientific notation, so that's why we slid this back upstairs and made it ten to the negative seven upstairs. Okay, you with me? So two of them upstairs took away two of the nine downstairs, so there's seven left downstairs, so it's negative seven upstairs. Okay. All right, so now... We're going to go ahead and plug that into our formula. This is W right here. So W is 4 times 10 to the negative 7. So, so we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to slide that back downstairs. I don't know why they want to get all fancy. So put the W back downstairs. So this is going to go back downstairs right there. Okay, so there's that. And then how we do this in scientific notation is we treat these guys separately and treat these guys separately. Okay, so 3 fourths, you guys, is 0.75. And then when I subtract these exponents, because this is where we subtract so this is going to be 8 minus a minus 7 is going to be 8 plus 7 so it's 15 right there so this is 10 to the 15th right there and this is 0.75 okay it looks like it's in scientific notation but they like to have the decimal be, uh, after the first uh, uh, digit right there. So we're going to make this, we're going to move it one place to the right. When we move it one place to the right, it decreases that right there. So it's uh, 7.5 times 10 to the 14th. All right, now to answer this, you guys, in the context of this question, it's kind of wacko here. Let's get the units here. So the units are, remember, um, uh, the the wavelength frequency was in meters per second right here. And since it's divided by the W right here, the W is in meters right here. So meters per second divided by meters right here is the same as meters per second divided uh, by meters, which is uh, if I inverse and invert and multiply, this is M over one. So we multiply it by one over M right there and the nose cancel. So it's left with the units of one over this right here. This is one cycle for every second. All right. So, so the frequency of the violet light with a wavelength of 400 nanometers is 7.5 times 10 to the 14th cycles per second. Okay, cycles per second. Oh boy. Okay, again, I'm just concerned with you guys knowing what of the math part right here. Okay, the units part, I'm, I'm okay with uh, overlooking that part, you guys. All right, here's another one. The formula for the surface area of a sphere is in, in terms of volume is surface area is 4 pi to the one third times 3v, the v is the volume, that's v right there, to the two thirds right there. So what is the surface area of a sphere that has a volume of 36 uh, uh, pi centimeters cubed? So we're going to substitute in 36 pi right there and leave the answer in terms of pi, okay? Makes it a little bit easier for us. Okay, so there we go. So I just plugged that in for the volume right there. Everything else is the same right there, okay? Now, there's a 4 pi hiding in this 36 pi, and since there's a 4 pi right there, let's change this to 9 times 4, so it becomes, I can change it to 9 times 4 pi right there, so I can combine this 4 pi to the 2 thirds with this 4 pi to the 1 third, okay? Now let's uh, clean this up, so this is, this 9 becomes 3 times 3, so it's actually, see there's the 9 right there, the 3 times 3, now we'll clean this up as 3 times 3 times 3, which is 3 to the third right there okay so now we can do powers to powers and multiply right there okay so let's just um, uh, right there so it's going to be uh, 4 pi to the one third and it's going to be 3 cubed to the two thirds and then 4 pi to the two thirds that's what that says right there all right so so 3 times two thirds well the 3 cancels right there and we get 2 Okay, so here's a 3 times 2 thirds. Those 3's cancel, and we're left with 2 right there. So that's what this 2 is right here. Okay, so this is going to be 9 right there. Okay, so there's the 9. I floated it out front. Now I'm going to deal with these exponents. This base is the same, and this base is the same. What do we do with those exponents? We add those. So 1 third plus 2 thirds, I did that over here, is 3 thirds, which is 1. So we get 9 times 4 pi, which is um, uh, uh, 36 pi right there. All right, so now look, it's the same number as we had right here, 36 pi, except surface area is always in square units, you guys. So the, the sphere has a surface area 36 pi centimeters squared. The volume is centimeters cubed. Um, so there, it's just a total coincidence that they got uh, to be the same number on this, but they're not. They're not the same because one's in in square units and the other one's in cubic units. All right. Um, if you are in our class, we're going to give you a handout, and that'll be when we get to it. Okay. Take care.